Welcome to our Monaco vacation review of the beautiful country of Monaco. Just kidding, this is our Monaco GP review. We'll be reviewing the Monaco GP race I house last Sunday. Lewis Hamilton came in with a very interesting outfit. This was a full crowd in Monaco. Max Verstappen was on pole in the beautiful country of Monaco, the independent country. Was it a train-like race? Are you serious? Of course, it's Monaco. So as we're about to begin, Max Verstappen's on pole. He gets away cleanly. Fernando Alonso tucks in behind him for second place. Many teams brought upgrades to this track, including Ferrari and Mercedes. Also, McLaren brought upgrades. They were able to secure a top 10 finish with on lap 11. Carlos Sainz makes contact with Esteban Ocan's car, and he damages his front wing. Ferrari elects not to bring him in. He does come in on lap, on lap 34, and they elect not to change his front wing at that point. I'm not sure Ferrari's strategies nowadays. I'm losing hope this year. You got a plan? No, they don't got a plan this year. On our lap 35, Sergio Perez collides with Kevin Magnussen and he damages his front wing. Sergio Perez was being very aggressive today. He started at the back of the field. Maybe that's why they changed his front wing on lap 36. Sergio crashed in Q1 of qualifying. That's why he started at the back of the field. Lance Show was auditioning for a role in a bumper car movie because he was crashing into walls and other drivers all day. Top five midpoint of the race were Max Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly, and George Russell. The storm is coming. Yes, by lap 52, the rain started to come down. Lap 53, it really started to get slippy and cars started to come into the pits. Alonso pitted on lap 54, but he put on medium dry tires where everyone else started to come in after him and put on the intermediate tires. Lap 55, he had to come back in and put on intermediate tires. So many cars were coming in at this point. Max Verstappen came in along with several others. Ferrari even decided to double stack their cars. Almost immediately after the pit stop, Carlos Sainz spins and he loses his place to Charles Leclerc. Lance Stroll hits another barrier. Honestly, Lawrence Stroll must be so stressed today and Lance Stroll was eventually out of the race. His car took too much damage. Magnussen was the only driver who was on hard tires even after everyone went into the pits. He did pay for it. He crashed into the wall on lap 58. They put on a new wing for him on lap 59 and by lap 60 he was out of the race. Sergio Perez came in on lap 59 changing from dry tires to wet tires. But you know what you could change as a viewer? You could change by subscribing to the channel. We'll be bringing you more racing videos. Max Verstappen had a comfortable lead over 20 seconds over Alonso at this point. Then something strange. Red Bull brings in Perez again. So he changes from wet tires to intermediate with only five laps left in the race. He was already on wet tires. There was only five laps remaining in the race. Max Verstappen's able to come home with the win at the Monaco Grand Prix. He was beasting Alonso. He had an over 27 second lead over Alonso. So congrats to Max and the Red Bull team. Some race notes. McLaren definitely had a better race. I guess the new liveries and parts they brought, they actually scored points. Lando Norris came ninth. Oscar Piastri came 10th. Ferrari came 6th with Charles Leclerc, Carlos Sainz came 8th, Sergio Perez, he started off at the back of the field, he was only able to finish 16th. One thing we gotta talk about is the Ashton Martin team. Fernando Alonso was podium almost every race, but Lance Stroll, he didn't even finish the race this week. I don't know what's going on, they're gonna have to really think of maybe if they have to replace Lance Stroll, unfortunately, but his dad runs the team, so we never know. Esteban Ocon had a great race, he was able to podium today. His Alpine was always in the top 10 last year, but this time he was able to get a podium, so it was really good for the Alpine team. If I was gonna rate the race, I would give the race about a seven. It was really boring up to the rain, but it kind of picked up after the rain. It was really interesting. We have Spanish Grand Prix next week. We're gonna be doing a review on the Indy 500. That was another great race this weekend. Can't wait to do the review on that. I hope you enjoyed the review video. More racing videos to come on the channel. Please like and subscribe. Red Bet, signing off.